Yeah. We can. What? So we're, this we're is looking where... for houses. Wait, we, we where's were... our clickbait house? Yeah. Oh, so man. I was looking. I'm looking for the clickbait house. Nothing. Where's our clickbait house? We had one job. Next to dude. Russell Wilson for the next couple months. One job. Jeez. Dang it. We, we actually have a show, which is crazy. Welcome hey. to Clickbait Sports, folks. Hey. I'm Tom. Are, are, are you really Tom, though? I keep saying that, but does that Tom. just seem like it, it might be just a reflex? But speaking of which, that is Tom Grassi. I'm Tom. That is Five Points Vids, the uh, resident Mets fan who's probably losing his starting pitcher due to arm fatigue. And <sighs> that is Brandon Perna. Perna, what'd you get, buddy? <laughs> I, damn it, Taco. Honestly, that's oh, the, as the gift that keeps on giving, brother. Lot of tacos. Lot of tacos. Or taco basically pays my mortgage every month. I do. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, and I had tacos last month. night, and I'm gonna have them again tonight for leftovers, Lord. What tacos did you get, man? I'm just curious. We made them. We made them. Ooh. Do you thank the Lord meat, taco dude? before you eat those, or you're like, bless mm. you? yeah. Well, we actually did two meats last night. You know, you got your ground Ooh. beef, Mexican ground beef. And then I did a green chili shredded chicken mix mm. that uh, is pretty, pretty good. Honestly. How deep into the off season are we that we are talking about tacos to Dude. lead the show off? Dude, tacos are amazing, though, man. If you get a really good taco, add some nice cheese seasonings, maybe yeah. a little pico de gallo on a flour tortilla. Mm. It's the perfect like you. Yes, it really I like how you just explained tacos to me. I appreciate it. The only so, problem with I mean, the taco I, is you can't really store it in your pocket. Well, you can with pizza, though. I think we know who's winning. <laughs> God, what the and fuck? And you know what? I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm fine with that. What was the punishment? Oh, yes. My punishment idea was that uh, Brandon should have to dress up like Taylor Swift Ooh. and do a whole show as Taylor Swift. And I'd rather be dress able like Taylor to than Mahomes, speak so. in, in song lyrics yeah. from Taylor Swift. Hmm. Very yeah. much so. Shooters so has electrical cool. problems. So for everyone yeah. asking. Yes. By the way, he wired his house incorrectly. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that's most Cowboys fans are just wired incorrectly in general. So Ooh, that's that's true. That. Mm, mm, that was a good burn, right? There. Definitely. But wrong. he's not even here to defend him. In the meantime, we're talking about electricity. We're talking about the NFL offseason. We're talking about bucket lists. We're talking about offseason. We're talking about just getting into the nitty gritty of just the grind and the madness because free agency is going to be coming up in a couple weeks. The players are going to be moving left and right. We've got four teams here. Combine next week, too. So everyone's going to be flocking to Indianapolis. And they're going to be ogling at all the quarterbacks and dreaming about a brighter tomorrow. And speaking of brighter tomorrows, not Brandon Perna, uh, you've got a big situation with your quarterback, Russell Wilson. So uh, give us a gist of what's going on there. Russell Wilson is going to the Steelers, and we all know it's true. And honestly... (laughs) I, I really hope this this happens, Tree, so we can do an epi- episode where I bequeath Russell Wilson to you hmm. and bless you with all of the views that come along with Russell Wilson. Uh, I, in my last video, I said, if Russ goes to the Steelers, that move alone will take Tree to a million subscribers. Right? I don't know about that. <laughs> it is gold, my friend. Is it case yes, of our Steelers is, again? Yeah, is this it is a it's gold be- mine. And I, I actually I, think... I think he could help your team. That's the weird spot with Russ. It's I'm in a situation where I wish we wouldn't have pissed him off. And the plan was just to pay him for the next two years while knowing we need to find his replacement versus paying him to not be here and still having to find his replacement Mm -hmm. and also likely having to find somebody else to start because his replacement is probably not going to be ready to come in right away. Plus, we're talking about that dead cap hit, too. So, I Mm. mean, you have to trade that as well. A thing with Russell Wilson, he's a low-end starter. So, I mean, he didn't really exceed the expectations of that contract, but maybe the lower contract couldn't be a bad idea. Uh, Two things. If if 
Russ Wilson goes to the Steelers. Tree, I think a, a propo punishment would be you creating Brandon's football boner video, but like <laughs> sarcastically. Mm. And also the thing with Russ is like his skills are clearly declining. So anybody that acquires him is acquiring a rapidly depreciating <laughs> asset. No. And so like, I just don't see him carrying the steel like why wouldn't how is he better than kenny pickett who seems oh, to have a higher ceiling than well he is better him. right now but why would you continue to employ a quarterback who's going to do nothing but decline when pickett has the potential to increase this is the before and after like with the steelers with kenny pickett and then with russell wilson that yeah. photo was just sitting in there, and mm -hmm. I thought it was perfect for that. Well, so I, I did that pretty... for uh, Rivera and Dan Quinn. That's classic. Uh, <laughs> for the Steelers, this is like the great debate because there have been a bunch of different rumors going around. Like Some people want Kenny Pickett. There are rumors that they want Mason Rudolph back, even though I think he's gone. I think they've given him a bad shake around here, and he's just going to audition for a backup role somewhere. There are some saying that they're favorites for Justin Fields. There are some saying that they're favorites for Russell Wilson. There's a rumor right. about Ryan right. Tannehill. Right. Out there. Right. It's it's the equivalent of the mid eighties. You're looking at like Cliff yeah. Stout, Mark Malone, or David Woodley. Like those are going to be your three guys for Steelers football. Those are some deep cuts. I mean, yeah. I, 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 like, I, like everyone complained. Like the older hats complained about Bubby Brister. This is pretty much where we're at right now. So uh, yeah, we're we're in late eighties mode, and uh, yeah, Bubby, have you the Bronco before a Steeler? You know. Bubby Brister, well, he was a brother. Won a couple or, Super Bowls with you. Mm. Yeah, Bubby was was. I was I think Russell Wilson because if the Broncos do the post first June designation, the Steelers can sign him for the vet minimum. So you're mm -hmm. paying next to yeah. nothing for him, and I think exactly. you get a significant upgrade over Kenny Pickett. I don't think his skills are diminishing uh, the way Adam suggested. Oof. I think it's it's. Like, he can still make all the throws. He lost weight, and he was quicker last year. He was. He's still just Russell Wilson. And this year, his biggest battle, I think, was trying to play with Sean Payton. And I don't think Sean Payton was going to push Russ. F. Jones. And I think you have, to, you have to call, like, a limited offense with him. But if you have a... If you have a strong run game, which the Steelers showed that they might, like they, mm -hmm. the Steelers could have a very good run game next season, he's going to be fine. Like if, if Denver had a, a top 10 run game, they would have made it to the playoffs. And that's not like wishful thinking. I'm not trying to inflate who Russ is, but that was the thing that held us back. It's like our run game was okay, but it was never more than like three or four yards. And we couldn't we couldn't get the 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 big plays. And I swear to God, based on my luck, he's gonna go somewhere. He's gonna play for cheap, and he's gonna look good good again. Just so Broncos fans are even in a deeper level of hell. That's that's what I believe. Um, well, here's the thing though. Like you just said, you're not trying to inflate his value, right, Brandon? No, he's frustrating to watch, but he's okay. not the worst but quarterback. That's what it seemed to me. Like he's but like, you even said, I want to I want to take your words. Well, I'm gonna paraphrase your words, Brandon. You know, what what was his stats last year? 28 TDs and six or seven picks. And you said don't let those stats fool you because he was actually pretty bad, even with no, those stats. He, he, this is Russ. He is if his box score is really good, he played worse than that. If his box score is really bad, that's he played fair. better than that. That's fair. That's fair. That's that's kind of a Daniel Jones syndrome, too. Yeah. Uh, or even a, a Josh Allen. Yeah. Did someone I swear who got a hundo? God damn it. Not me. Thank I think, uh, yeah, I think you're going to get uh, punished. I think Taylor Swift, you might be check, um, might want to put that uh, cheerleader outfit in the uh, shopping French cart now. Pie. Dude, French silk pie is delicious, though. I would let that you, drive my car 100%. Ooh. Do you know any Taylor Swift songs? Um, Hold on. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, no, that's Beyonce. That's Beyonce. <laughs> you, you don't know the one? She wears short skirts. I wear Yeah, sneakers. Love Story is an easy one. Um, um, she's cheer captain. And no, I'm like I do. 
anyone in the audience that's young out there, any young single males, mm -hmm. learn the Taylor Swift songs because I went out with uh, J and D. Uh, they live in my town, um, <laughs> and God some goodness. young, some twenty-two-year-old girl was singing that song to me, and. I knew the lyrics and I was able to sing it back and she was like, Oh my God, you know, the lyrics. And I was like, I'm an adult. I know the lyrics. So if you're going to learn something to pick up girls, learn the, learn the uh, not going to learn it. Cause I do not want to give Swift. my wife the impression I'm trying to pick up girls. <laughs> but if you're single, Take out it there, off. that's the one I know. It. That's yeah, the off. one I know. Well, well, no, there's blanks. also the, I just didn't remember that I knew it. Oh, the classic Denver Broncos song between Sean Payton and Russell Wilson. Uh, we are never, ever, ever getting back together. And we are never getting oh. back together. Lord Taco is paying your mortgage. Brandon Jesus Perna. Jesus Christ, stop it. You peaches, 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 peaches. You know, honestly, yeah, dude, you're going to be wearing man. short skirts. Yeah, I mean, honestly, embrace mm -hmm. those legs, dude. You got to really shave those legs and really get that shine. That's I, where T-Swizzle shines, those legs, man. I want to see a Kansas City Chiefs mini skirt. I want to see Brandon in a Kansas City Chiefs mini skirt with a thong on. Mm -hmm. mm, that, with that's, Travis a, that's a little Kelsey, too risky. With Travis Kelsey underwear on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Just the worst man, part. It, 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 you took a little. I time have thought about this. I have, you know. Um, who else needs to do stuff in the off season? Well, I think a certain New York Giants fan does because if you think about it, Saquon Barkley will not be tagged with the franchise tag. So, what Draft are the future plans for the New York Draft. Giants? Mr. Okay, Barkley. so let's talk about Barkley. Barkley is likely not going to be a New York Giant unless, like, he would be doing himself a disservice to re-sign with the Giants. Like, on the open market, definitely a team like the Cowboys will overspend for him just to kind of stick it to the Giants. Um, maybe even a, a team that's desperate for, to establish a run game like the Patriots or something like that, that is just looking for uh, a, a veteran running back. But, you know, the Giants have to kind of let him walk. The real debate now that I'm seeing online is, you know, do the Giants stay at six and take Joe Alt or trade up and get one of the prize quarterbacks? You know, the uh, Daniels, the um, Drake May or uh, – who's Caleb Williams, which I don't, you know, he's going number one, one, but to me, I think the giants should draft Joe alt stick with Jones one more year. You're probably, if he's garbage, right. You're going to be in the same position. You're going to be in, in position top three to grab another quarterback or you make the playoffs again. Joe alt would be that piece that you're needing on that line. Cause then you can move Evan Neal to, well, you could have um, Thomas on the left Neil, you would move to guard and then Joe Alt at, at right tackle. And it would just be a very formidable line for the Giants. So Alt is the right pick, if you ask me. Alt is the right pick. Mm -hmm. Control, Alt, delete. Mm -hmm. mm. It seems like you're suggesting that the New York Giants should go to the sewer for Shadour in 2025. Yes, that's what we'll do. <laughs> yes. No, they're winning fewer for yours. Well, that, well I, would, I would. If they if they draft alt, there will be less salt for me. That's well, the run. You have to remember, you yeah. were cheering the Evan Neal pick at the time, and he is not. It seemed well. like he was good. He yeah, was how many a seasons monster. is what season is Evan Neal in though? This third year, third year coming season. up. Third year. And, and he better about develop. Yeah, he's a he's got very a large I mean, man. Dude, it took Garrett Bowles forever. And if it eventually worked out, I think we're a little impatient with offensive linemen, especially tackles. But I do respect that you want another lineman. That is a very boring but uh, mature thing to wish. With what are you guys at six or five? Six. So we pick have six, six overall. Yeah. And and to me, that's the thing that... is you could desire at pick six. Yeah, <laughs> I want to be all right. But it's probably probably what you need the most. Uh, yeah. So, anyways. Um... I would I would very much like that as the pick. And yeah, Daniel Jones, as long as he stays healthy or whatever, you know, if they end up being ass again, then you're in prime position with a good line to add your real quarterback. I think in today's modern NFL, you need a stud quarterback like a Jordan Love who's on their rookie deal, you know, or a Caleb Williams or uh, a uh, CJ Stroud 
who's on his rookie deal where you get a star at a discount and um, or you just don't get any wide receivers and still win you know back-to-back super bowls and be the chiefs well i mean yeah. that's it sure yeah. But yeah, I would rather see the Giants do the smart thing than the, you know, Washington commander, like offseason splash thing. Is Tommy DeVito quarterback two heading into the season? <sighs> like I said, like if you watch the film on DeVito, he's awful. Right, he's not oh, a good quarterback. Don't you dare say <laughs> that. Don't, it, that'll get you killed by a bunch of Italian Americans, dude. Listen. Dad is anti Italian. Okay, but watch the film, right? The, he's He ha- had a great story. He had his Lynn Sanity run, but he's limited, okay? And, yes, he could be the second – he could be the backup quarterback for sure, but he's not – he's not – there's a reason why he was Daniel Jones' backup. He's, Tom, did you talk to his agent in Vegas, or did was that just Barks? So, <laughs> it was just Johnny because – we were talking about Tommy DeVito walking up the stairs to go into Radio Row. And as we go, I literally turn and see his agent at the corner of my eye. And Johnny's like, I got to get a picture. So, yeah, that was, that was great. Does, it, does his agent wear makeup or something? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Did he? Because Scooter got a video of him and he looked like surreal. He doesn't look like a real person. Like it, I mean, Maybe he's AI. He is AI. He's not an act. He's a hologram. He's like the Tupac hologram. Anytime just... something goes wrong in my life from now on, I'm just gonna be like, it was AI. Yeah. You didn't pay your taxes. AI, man. Simulation. What can you say? Mm-hmm. What can you say? You the ran scooter... a red light. I think it was probably uh-huh. AI. Scooter's AI. Here. I guess... assembled a green light. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Scooter's getting rewired in his house. <laughs> mm-hmm. that, uh, 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 he's because of AI. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's all AI's fault. Alan Iverson, also, baby. Um, I know I still owe some punishments. I need to do the you muffin. A lot of punishments. And yeah. I need to uh, get, I have the apron already, but I did do something that was requested of me. I brought a mini sized bottle of head and shoulders across the country into Vegas. And this was the last point I could bring it closest to the stadium because they're like, no, you need to throw that out. So. Yeah, that was the that was the last one. But, they were uh, like, "Why do you need Head and Shoulders? Like, are you gonna go like, into I the? Need it. <laughs> yeah, are you gonna go into a Vegas the stadium bathroom and just wash your hair and just be like, I'm 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 wrapping up, guys. Sorry, guys. Okay. Technically, yeah, it, you're allowed to bring this in, but I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna. Yeah, Mace, it's just like you yeah. shouldn't be bringing shampoo in there. I'm like, I heard the bathrooms are really nice, guys. Yeah. Um, are, the, are the kids putting this in their drinks to get drunk now? Is that what this is for? I, I, uh, it was, it didn't work out this way, but I think it was comeback player of the year was like their sponsor on the NFL honors was head and shoulders. Oh, nice. So if I had to announce that one, it would have been just, oh, dude. it would have been perfection. He came that- back from having dandruff comeback <laughs> player of the year. Talk about your redemption arc though. Like you got to show them. You were just like, I got to the Super Bowl. Yeah, it wasn't even like, I don't even blame Head and Shoulders because like it was a marketing company like on yeah. their behalf and like they just messed up and then sent me a bunch of shampoo instead of Super Bowl tickets. So yeah, I it think worked RBT out. was there. Did you see RBT that when he, did you meet RBT, Sam? Where? He was I, the, this at the Super, Super Bowl? Bowl? Yeah, I think he went. Oh, no, I didn't see him. Huh. Oh, oh I met him during 30 and 30 because we, we oh, that's right. 30 that's 30, right. So. Okay. Yeah, I have a question. Did, did everybody have the number twenty three, Tom? Yeah, because so that was like the fan of the year jersey because of twenty twenty three. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. Twenty two. The year. I do have a question. Are you gonna get that jersey framed, or you're just gonna wear that during streams now? I don't know. Like I have it right now. It's just like hanging up in my closet. Uh, I wore it for a bunch of streams during that because the Packers were like we're going on a run and they lost with it, and I was like, eh, mm. all right. But yeah, I don't know. I might wind up getting it framed because it's a yeah. uh, that's a memento, special. man. Yeah. I also think that it was hilarious that they gave you like the worst seats possible to watch. This. They gave me the Jordan Love family seats yeah. Yeah. with the Chiefs. It was perfect. But like I'm, that, dude, those tickets are still seven thousand dollars. Like, you oh know, we obviously God. got them for free, but like those are still like seven grand a pop. So and what I will was... be honest, like we were literally in the back, like 407, like the last row. The view was pretty great. Oh, like, there's no it, bad seats in that. It still seat. looked really good. Yeah. Uh, who who's the actor that you were on stage with? <laughs> Justin Hartley. 
Yes. How did it feel standing next to someone who's that good looking? And you're just, I mean, not that you're not a good looking guy. It's like, you're just it, like, did you feel like you're not even the same species as him? Like, what? what what's <laughs> yeah, I mean, like? like, I was like, okay, yeah. Like this, there's no way that I can frame that this is going to look really good. <laughs> there's just, all right, we're just going out there and we're just going to have a big slice of humble pie. That's right. It, so. And you're six one. He's like six four, six I five. Like six how one. many? I'm, I'm things... just six. I'm okay with just being six. But I, there's listen, no I'm way you're six just four. six. But, um, yeah. No. It, he's a he's a tall dude. Um, and it was funny because I met him like 30 seconds before we were gonna go on stage because he wasn't in the green room and he didn't he wasn't at rehearsals the previous day. So he he came up to me and like introduced myself and I was like, hey, like I'm presenting with you. He goes, you know what we're saying out there? And I was like. <laughs> uh because i had gotten like the script the day before and uh i was like yeah here and i was like there's a teleprompter there like you should be able to see it and listen i'm just happy i didn't mess it up so <laughs> so, I, you, so he was completely ad-libbing because he's like they're not gonna fire me i'm freaking the dude from this is us i'm and cbs you're, tracker right which, and you're in way, your room like in a in a robe like practicing your line i do hate the vikings um mm -hmm. Yes, there that was a running joke with Johnny and I too. Like every now and then, like I just like I do hate the Vikings, just different inflections. <laughs> <laughs> just, but the best part is, is you mentioned this is us. Like, and he got the name Kevin Stefanski wrong. His name on This Is Us was Kevin. Like that oh, was his character's name. So like it just yeah. was he was a nice dude. Like it was super funny. And like, yeah, it was it was a good time. And it wasn't me. They I did get the trophy. Um, unfortunately. When the NFL shipped it, it wasn't shipped very well, and it did come broken. Ah! Um, oh so wow! It's, it was it's a broken. treasure chest. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was broken. But yeah, so like, there's hinges, and like this hinge is broken, and it's like on this. It's just 3D printed. But I'm either gonna have to get a new one, which I emailed them, which I'm probably not gonna get a new one, no, or just glue it. Yeah. Honestly, really? you're probably best just like I jimmying could, up a new I hinge. I could fix that for you. I'm very handy. Yeah, it's just, uh -huh. it, it honestly Ask takes Brandon. super glue. It wouldn't be too bad. No. Yeah. Is there a you hidden, never did the hand for me. Hidden Captain Morgan bottle in there? There is not. No, they sent me one though. They So they oh, sent, um, nice. every day of the year, they sent like this large box and it came with like a bottle of rum, like that jacket, like an Uber <laughs> gift card. It was, it, was, it was super nice. Oh, that's so they got swag. That's nice, yeah. dude. No, the jacket's really nice. It's really cool. Was there, yeah. and I, I don't know if you've talked about this with oh. Brandon, was there anybody at the award show that you were just stunt? Like you were like, whoa, that I, like you were, you had star, you were starstruck by them. No, I don't think so. I mean, like there is there's players like came up afterwards and stuff and like CMC was in the back. I will say the green room was pretty crazy. So when I got pulled from my seat, head downstairs and they're like, OK, this is Tom Grassi for the green room. They're like, we're not letting anybody in the green room. And they're like, well, he's going to present. So like he has to go there. And like they had a call and do this whole big thing. And I was just like, I'll wait outside. I don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eventually they let me into the green room and like it's pretty small. Um yeah like it, it is it's a little larger than this room but this room is not that big but whatever so there's like a bar and then there's like just like some seating stuff and just people standing in the middle and in the middle uh tyree kill was talking to justin jefferson and i'm just like standing over there and then <laughs> Deion sanders walks in oh, and then he starts talking to them and i was like this is crazy i have nothing to contribute to this conversation though. right so right like, no I'm one's gonna, gonna be like, like oh just, you're that youtube i'm gonna be a wallflower and just kind of just like take all yep. of this in um but yeah it was that like cmc was there uh, i saw him backstage but yeah nothing like crazy crazy for the honors it was just really cool to be there dion Were was there probably like yo tyreek i can get you triple what you're making right now in nil money if you come play one year with the colorado <laughs> buffaloes yeah it was, you still uh, have your cool. college eligibility left i don't know maybe were there any hot chicks did you see any beautiful women where you were just like oh my god like i, I would you know Fuck. that's a that's a natural question to ask you saw you're telling me you saw cmc i want to know if you saw any like outstandingly attractive women bro There's i was looking for football players i was like okay. oh that's drew Brees. like oh ray lewis is here like that was ray just, lewis was there I, yeah i was just nerding out dude because it was football players that was that was me i was just like this is freaking dope man like it's just, it wasn't the avn awards adam and then i saw i've Mark been Murphy to an avn one, which is awesome mm -hmm. i'll bet but uh let's get back on topic here mainly with the green bay packers speaking of them Relatively interesting offseason coming up. New defensive coordinator yeah. to replace Joe Barry. 
What are your objectives or your bucket list for the dream Packers offseason? Yeah, Jeff Halfley. So he literally just had um, his first press star. conference with the Packers media. And it was like a lot of it was like coach speak, but he talked about like adaptation a lot, which was really interesting. The he film? talked about the, the need Nicholas for Page? weapon. <laughs> what? <laughs> he talked about the need for safety and stuff. And so, like, I imagine either in free agency or um, in the draft, they're going to be looking at safety pretty early on. So I did not see any Jimmy G. But besides that, uh, I think they're probably going to have to get a running back. Um, Aaron Jones, you know, they're intending on him coming back. But at the same time, like, we don't know what A.J. Dillon, like, his contract is up. I wouldn't be surprised if he walks. And so need a running back, definitely need a safety potentially corner as well, depending on what happens with Eric Stokes, because he came back for a hot second, then he got hurt again, and he's just been dealing with an injury. So, yeah. Well, secondary help is what I'm trying to get through this segment for. Well, you guys need it. You're good on quarterback. Lucky you. You lucked it's out true. again. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. It must be nice. Mm -hmm. it is nice. You, got to, you also got to meet him, Jordan yes. Love. Uh, I did meet Jordan Love. Yes, that was really, really cool. That was really, really cool. Um, met Jordan Love, met Aaron Jones. Um, yes, met Brian Branch. The Brian Branch story was actually amazing. So on Friday after I won, I was in Radio Row the next day because of St. Jude. And I'm like walking around. I was doing a couple spots. And this guy yells out to me. And he's just like, Tom Grassi. And I was just like, oh. So I walked over. I had no idea who he was. And he goes, I'm Brian Branch's brother. <laughs> And like we had like a 15 minute conversation. No way. He's just like, you know, you always supported my brother because like that reaction went viral of like me wanting the Packers to draft Brian Branch and the Lions took him. And then I wound up meeting Brian Branch like 30 minutes later. Um, and that was super funny. So yeah, the players watch. They definitely, definitely watch. That always surprises me. <laughs> I mean, they don't watch me, but they, you know, oh, there's another hundred. Let's see. There's God. another hundo. God damn it. 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 It ain't me. Uh -huh. <laughs> that mini skirt. Oh, We're getting skirt. closer to that mini skirt. I think we've I think we've already won this immediately. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a, a good one. Push. 19 million dollars in fives, and the NFL buys Tom's cheap ass plastic. It's award definitely from 3D printed. It's, it's 3D printed, which makes it even worse. It's definitely 3D printed. I mean, listen, I think you, we all know that it's much larger than that. Like, that's really cool. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, it means a lot more than whatever trophy or you know, medal I was going to get. So, yeah, it's pretty damn cool. It is pretty damn cool. Did you did you try any of those uh, games, the th the football games that Ben Kurt was doing? Johnny did one of them. Um, and then when I went to go do it, they're like, oh, like players are coming through. And I was like, that's a lot more oh. important than I am. And I left. <laughs> so, yeah, no, they actually those folks actually hooked me up with talking to Aaron Jones, though. So it all worked out. Oh, nice. But so I, I will say, and this is something that I definitely like want to experience in the future and something like that. If you have like kids, like the NFL experience thing that they have, like the week of the Super Bowl, like it's incredible. Like they have the Lombardi that's there. They have all the rings. They have like the trophies. They have games. They have so many. They have autograph signings. Like it legit was just such a cool like family like environment for the NFL experience part. And it was dope. Do they have yeah, Coco really Melon? They have Coco Melon? No, they didn't have Coco Melon. Yeah, and Carmi ain't going to give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that was I the first time we cut. <laughs> yeah, we'll be waiting. We'll be waiting. Yeah. I mean, it's Scooter's not here. It's okay. I know we can cuss and, and, and given our own freedom, we, we that's what, that's advantage. what we're scared of, but we're already conditioned. It's like Pavlovian dog. Once the jocks end, Suddenly, now we're, we're conditioned to not swear on this program. Nice. We're, we're getting soft. Yeah, I wanted That's... to do that that throwing game to show Kurt Benkert how much better I am at throwing a football than he is. Yeah, buddy, there's no shot. I watched him throw a few balls, and sure, they were accurate, but I was like, Shh, I'd shatter his score. After you beat him in Madden, I was like, I could take him down. <laughs> Easy. Didn't, didn't Kurt, Easy. Ben, Kurt throw a ball so hard at you, Tom, that it almost broke your hand? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that happened a couple times. Yeah. It's not how hard you can throw it. Right here, and then one went back. Yeah, he, like, has one of, like, he threw, like, one of the, the hardest balls at the Combine, like, in Combine history. Yeah, it was, like, I think it was, like, 58 or something. Jeez, it was, miles he, per hour? Yeah. 
Josh Allen has the record. It's only like seven. I mean, only when I say only, it was like 75, 76 miles an hour, which is sick for a freaking football. You know, yeah. Alan, absolutely Alan insane for to go over 70 for a to throw a football for sure. Yeah. Last year, the so Jaron Hall had 57. Um, Clayton Toon Houston had 58. Hannah McGee Stanford right. had 58. Those are the highest ones. That's crazy because like a fastball is going 97 miles an hour. Yeah. Which is like twice as fast. Jacob Eason. Yeah. He had 59. Mm hmm. Dean Montez. He had 59. Those guys. Yeah. When, I mean, those NFL. I mean, they're career, 59. Wow. That's nuts. That's mm -hmm. nuts. Have you guys seen that old clip circulating of the, it was like a pro bowl skills competition where like drew Bledsoe throws the oh, yeah. ball. Like, like, like that circulates like every year. Yeah. Yeah. And then Jim Harbaugh only throws at 60 and he's like, so happy. About it. Like, that was, was like, really cool though. Me. I met Chris Berman who knew who oh, I you was. Did. Ooh, I, like Chris, Chris Berman's Berman. my guy. Like I grew up with uh -huh. like loving oh, yeah. Chris Berman. So I met, I was literally just wanted to like shake his hand and be like, Hey, I appreciate you. And he was just like, you're the guy who went to 30 stadiums in 30 days. <laughs> so like, we had, a full we had like a good, like 15 crazy. minute conversation. It nice. was one of the highlights of the entire week. He really looks cool. like he is as great to strangers and people as he looks on camera. Like he looks like he would just be a really nice guy. He was like, super nice. Yeah. Josh Allen, by the way, was 62. Wow. Josh Allen was 62 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So that's what that one is. Boom. That's pretty high. Yeah, that's the record is 62. That's pretty if high. If I had to present the trophy to my homes, <laughs> would you drop it on his foot? <laughs> yeah, I would never be allowed to attend a single NFL game, event. I wouldn't be able to talk about the NFL ever again. Do you think that Goodell would grab some goons and just take you down in the into the basement and just take, you know, you would never be seen from again if you yeah i wouldn't do it i'd just be like no you got to meet oh, goodell yeah. too right grassy yeah i didn't so when he was in vegas i didn't meet him um i met him in new york but yeah oh. like there he came down for like a photo thing and like there was a bunch of fans who hadn't met him before so like i kind of stepped to the side and was like go you know meet him right so oh, yeah I met look him at you york. big timing the other <laughs> fans uh-huh you're so nonchalant about it now you really are different well, i mean Tom, someone i want someone else to have that opportunity uh -huh. like that's not i already had that opportunity it's only fair so fucking likable <laughs> Papa Grassi, love you, Tom. Oh, Papa Grassi in there. What's up, Diamond Dave? Uh -huh. <coughs> I prefer um, Diamond Daryl, Dimebag Daryl, myself. But uh, <laughs> are there any? Yo, other it was known as Diamond Daryl. Isn't there some news tree that we? Uh, yeah, there is. There's been some big news on the punter front. Matt Ariza, the punt god, has secured an NFL job signing with the Kansas City Chiefs. Which means that Tommy Townsend will more than likely be a free agent. Holly not gonna be happy. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, there are a lot of people who ain't gonna be happy, but he was cleared. And no, I, I meant more because she likes Tommy Townsend. That's why. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought totally like she was ups I, upset about um about uh, a rise. Yeah, but yeah. and Tommy was he was a good punter too, which He's, is yeah, one of the best punters good. in the league. Yeah, yeah, which is yeah. which, of course, the Chiefs are like, hey, we can get a little bit better at one more position. Well, it's yep. not even better. So uh, I would love to hear what Isaac punts has to. He's a former D two D three punter, Division like two a, punter. Yep. Yeah, punt expert. When we talked to him on the dumpster fire, he said that you know Matt Ariza wasn't even the best punter in that draft. Mm. So they could be just trying to get cheaper, and That's maybe something. they see it as you know they they've got to kind of be wizards with the cap, and they're getting Ariza at a discount for sure because. Yeah, he's going to be on a rookie deal, and maybe he's he's going to. But you see how they very um, they got it, and there's probably not going to be much pushback or or um, you know negative PR around it. But he was in hot water for very a while. Water. Yeah, he, he didn't yeah. play. Right? Yeah, and the thing too, you have to remember with the Kansas City Chiefs, they need to sign the Jerry Sneed and Chris Jones. So you have those two places to figure out. So you got to drop cap wherever you can which means Tommy Townsend, great punter, but you're going to save a few million by going from him to Ariza. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and Ariza was, was cleared of... He was. Charges. All charges, All charges were, were dropped. Mm -hmm. wasn't just that they were dropped. He was like... 
he was clear exonerated yes. yeah exonerated so like i think that's important because he was accused of you know sexual Awful assault things. yeah it's yeah. a horrible story uh and i think there's there's they were able to piece together video evidence um that, that he wasn't even he there he wasn't yeah. there well so he wasn't like, there at the time when it happened yeah like yeah. he was at so the like, party but he had left yeah so that's something you know that's important to get, to know with like the chief yeah um yeah so yeah chiefs probably just figure out another fucking thing to be good again cool uh-huh sweet uh -huh. kansas city like they were tweeting what was it like that isaiah pacheco all he knows is like super bowls yeah right? Yeah, it's good. It's good. This must be the worst time of your life, Brandon. This is like how <laughs> no, John Elway no. walking out, no, no. dude, yeah. and giving right. them the trophy. Like I saw that on the big screen. I'm like, why is John Elway here? And I was like, Brandon is not going to be happy. I think it was the 25 year anniversary of his MVP trophy. right? Yeah, yeah, because it, like, uh, it was. I think it's like 50, 25 and 10. Like Larry Zonka yeah. was the first. Zonka like, gave it to Elway. Yeah. <laughs> Tree or Tom, which which of your division rival fan bases would you find the most insufferable if they had a Chiefs like run in your era? Oh my God, uh, it's definitely it's oh, that's tough. The Vikings are probably it's between the Vikings and Bears. Yeah. Like if they like if the Vikings all of a sudden got good and they went from zero rings to now having multiple rings, oh, it would be They'd insufferable. Be the Bear, Bears fans would be pretty bad. Like they'd be pretty bad because. You know, they haven't had one since the 80s, yeah. but yeah. Bears I, with Caleb Williams could happen. Closest thing to mm -hmm. Mahomes we've had in the draft for a while, some think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about I, you, Tree? It's got to be the Browns with how bad they were, the close proximity. They, I mean, look at how what happened when they acquired Deshaun. I mean, good Lord, it's going to get bad. If Deshaun Watson... There's the problem. When you contain that sort of you. like, that optimism, and it just bursts out like just, just sheer explosion like look at what happened with new uh new england like they were terrible for decades then they became completely insufferable and mm -hmm. i mean maybe it happens to the chiefs but i mean you're in the middle of dynasty stage right now so maybe that time comes but like it's usually the bad fan bases that finally get sustained success they're the ones that burst out yeah like the vikings yeah yeah they've How been bullied so much so you find it like Browns fans are harder to deal with than it's the local proximity. Brown Steelers was okay. always a great rivalry for a sense. long time. Cause like all I, like I see like Chiefs fans and Bengals fans go at it a lot. Like Chiefs and yeah. Bengals fans hate each other. Bills and Chiefs hate each other. Mm -hmm. Bills and Bengals fans kind of hate each other, but I think less so than they hate the Chiefs. So I'm surprised it's like not the Bengals because, you know, they can be good at. What about Ravens fans? They y'all hate each other. Yeah, like it's the, more like of a weird. Fist it, it, fight it's, it's like level. fist fight slash mutual yeah. respect. It's weird. It's that mm. old Brown Steelers. Yeah. Right? It really just, there is like a level of respect there because it's like oh we're just gonna beat the piss out of each other. Just, like mm, every time we yeah. see one another, it's like I fucking hate you, yeah. but at yeah. the same time it's like yeah. you know what you're building the right way. It's it's like <laughs> a hockey you, it's like a hockey fight respect. respect right. It's like I like all right, the we're way gonna you drop do gloves. Yeah, right. We're gonna drop gloves now. I'm just gonna break your legs. Yeah, we're going to both look at each other in the penalty box and just be like, yeah. all right. Although I feel like peak hate between Bengals and Steelers was the perfect era and yes. AB era. Mm. Like, that stuff was pretty intense. That was intense. Well, I mean, that was a I, violent I, I, rivalry. And that's that why was they're self-destructed. If they didn't mm -hmm. have Vontaze and Pac-Man on that field, the Bengals win that game. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, right now, if you think of, like, most hated rivalries that kind of get – because, right, we had, like, the Seahawks 49ers for a while was, like, center stage. Like, that yeah. was Richard Sherman. Like, go, there was the animosity. I would say, like, right now, Eagles 49ers are really high up there because, man, yeah. they just hate. The, like, their the players, players hate too, one yeah. another. Their mm -hmm. fans hate one another. Like, they do not like each other. It's, it's pretty fantastic. Um, Bill's Chiefs is getting up there. That's they true. are really not liking yeah. each other. You know, Bills, Bills, Chiefs, Chiefs keep beating Bengals the shit that. out of them. Yeah, it's like Steelers it's, New England back in the day. Yeah, not like, not like. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that's a take. Oh, that's yeah. here. oh that's dude, that'll get you take. killed, man. That'll get <laughs> oh, you killed yeah. around here, dude. <laughs> like you're, you're, you're getting an army of yinzers that will be hunting you right now. So, uh, yeah. go under an assumed name, lay low for a couple weeks. You'll be fine. 
But yeah, the AFC South is probably the nicest rivalries. They're like, how you doing there? You know, no, like, I don't know. They, they can get pretty bad. I remember what Uche said. They can get pretty nippy. Yeah, no, they, they a lot of them bad. don't like the Titans. Like the Titans get crapped on a bunch. Um, yeah, I, that's but that's why I loved Falcons and Saints. I love the fake knee and that's get a touchdown. Good. good. Build it like build that rivalry. We need rivalries. We that's do it. need rivalries. We need we need hate. We need pettiness. <laughs> It, 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 why do we watch reality TV for the pettiness? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We love mm -hmm. pettiness. I think Iron City beer, I'm guessing. Like Iron City, they call it Iron City. Yeah, Saints Falcons. Saints Falcons. Do we have anything else? Should we just call well, it? A... Gumbo is for winners. Well, I think <laughs> we know who, who's wrong, so. I mean, who, uh, who's wrong? God, who's, uh, who's getting punished? It's gumbo uh, it's, for it's well, gotta uh, I, I, it's got to be Scooter, right? I mean, he's being punished just by being a Cowboys. <laughs> yeah, I transfer so. it to Scooter. No, no. I'm mm -hmm. transmitting. We my can't do that. We can't do that. Come on. That's right, baby. We back. When we coming back again? I don't know. Three months. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 4. Dan Perna's checking his money's crying at the score Cause he's looking now, he's got a draft like Taylor Swift And he's gonna show off his mid-drift Oh yeah, so sexy Sorry. Gonna have to be a little more specific than that one, Jay $68.47 I am eighty one ninety four. I am a happy man Five, what did you get sir? I got $7 Did a fan send me this in the mail? I literally I made a hundred times more I money I got than this, this. <laughs> Honestly, one. you know what? That's a good thing That means you're going to do extra special for this Brandon, what you got buddy? Seven twenty seven. Wow. That is the right Well done, century. Well done oh. Oh. Taylor Swift for love Taylor Swift, you better learn some Taylor Swift songs, buddy. Hey, okay, here's the thing. There's another song thing I got to do. I can't be doing two song things. No, Tough no, no, thing. no, no, no. You have to speak through her lyrics. So, like, if you want to speak say through her lyrics, oh, so what do I got to do? Say it. All right. So, okay. Are we saying as... dress up as Taylor Swift, but okay. with a Travis Kelsey jersey? Yes. I mean, a skirt. Yes, and yes, a, a, a Kelsey jersey, probably, yeah. or maybe one of those jacket. You know, like dress as her at the Super Bowl, basically. Okay. You know, and, and then, then for an entire clickbait episode, can only speak in Taylor Swift lyrics. Yes, he can be like, "Well, okay. you know, you guys, okay. you belong to me." Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, Russell Wilson, it's yeah. a love story, baby. Yeah. Just say yes. Yeah, and then basically, you know, Russell Wilson wears short skirts yeah. and and you wear sneakers you, you know, guys just play so. clips of guys getting concussions and i'll respond by saying shake it off shake it off mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's what they did in the 80s yeah you have to leave a blank space what you should do no actually what you should do is just have a list of all their songs and you have to work in the song title into everything mm. that you I'll, I'll work it i'll do that's mm -hmm. that sounds like a challenge i can handle yes, like that adam the weatherman guy the worst part of taylor swift what about her all right this is this is this is where football fans are really going to pay, and her relationship with Travis Kelsey has taken Travis Kelsey's celebrity to a level where now he's got agents meeting for his Hollywood career as an actor post Super Bowl. Maybe while he's mm -hmm. still playing, mm -hmm. we're going to be watching Travis Kelsey in movies, okay? And I don't think we're going to like it, but we're going to take it. We're going to. Take it. Yeah, he's gonna have forced cameos in whatever show that is hot at the time. You know what? I mean, they're trying to build a, a show yeah. around him, a new reality right. show, like all this shit. We're gonna get See, so much like, Travis Kelsey. I want, I want more Jason Kelsey. I know. I was I I I I I I with the podcast. I had just yeah. accepted that, like, oh, Jason Kelsey's yeah, awesome. Yep. Travis Kelsey, they have a good uh, 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 chemistry. I like it. And now I'm going to have to go back to hating Travis Kelsey. They should have a show where it's just Jason Kelsey and Ryan Fitzpatrick, like, basically am, going to, to, like, it should be man versus food, but it's Jason Kelsey and Ryan Fitzpatrick just going around eating whatever awful food in every city. I would watch that in a heartbeat. And shirtless. Ask mm -hmm. shirtless. Shirtless. They would have to be shirtless in the coldest temperatures, hmm. drinking beer, and maybe having a frozen beard of beer. Sure. Uh, okay. Sure, what you got coming out? 
Well, I just released uh, NHL All-Star Break Haters Guides, Eastern Conference, Western Conference, super late. And I completely understand that. I just had a huge backlog to get through. So next video might either be MLB Free Agency or the Columbus Blue Jackets. I haven't decided yet. Nice. Five. I have every team's worst GM coming out. Mm -hmm. And uh, Brandon and Tree and Tom, you all, we'll talk after the show and you can give your guesses as to who you think it is. Brandon, what you got? Uh, I just uploaded a video about um, the the major flaw for every top 2024 QB draft prospect. Hmm. So it's just about all the, the big quarterbacks in the draft. Nice. nice. Hopefully one of them mm -hmm. play for my <laughs> Uh, I'm doing members Q and a at six 30 Eastern. So in 40 minutes, links are on Patreon and the community tab. That's what we're doing nice. today. Very nice. nice. All right. Do it. Well, folks. Yeah, buddy. Thanks so much for watching. I know we, we actually did this. We should do it again sometime. Maybe next yeah, week. We'll do it next week. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is funny. We did uh, sports and you have been clicked. Yeah. This was the well, first well, episode. Join, of this no, show. you got to join the All clip. Right. If anyone wants to date me, send me a DM. <laughs> <laughs>